In this video, I'll be showing you guys exactly how I made over $15,000 within two weeks using this exact ICD strategy. It's a very, very, very simple strategy. If implemented, you guys will see profitability within one month guaranteed. You will pass your funded account straight away with the first try, straight after learning the strategy, and I can guarantee that. It's so simple, it's such a mechanical method of trading that if you follow every single thing that I say in this video, you guys will be profitable from this video onwards. Now, I spent thousands of thousands of mentorship. I've watched hours and hours of ICT two and a half long hour videos, all of the fluff, but I'll be breaking it down in literally 10 minutes for you guys in this video. And if you can't sit through this 10 minute video, I promise you there is no hope for you within this trading career. Now. Firstly, I just want to prove to you guys that I did get a $15,000 payout. So we have $7,600 here from funding pips. And then if you scroll up, literally just a week prior, I had a FTMO payout, £7,500 uh, £500, uh, split. Within two weeks, I had made over $15,000 with this exact strategy that I'll be teaching you guys today. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. Straight into the video now, I've created a little checklist for you guys so you guys can take note and uh, apply all of these concepts straight away for you guys. Now, it's very straightforward, very, very easy, um, not difficult at all. This video won't even be long at all. Um, and this is the only way I trade, okay, guys? So, I need you guys to understand that this is the only way I trade. Um, I've just shown you guys proof that I am profitable. Um, I've made over £15,000 in the last two weeks. Um, which is absolutely absurd from this trading um, online space. Now, it's crazy because I used to work a full-time job and to coming into this trading game to absolutely milk in the markets. It's next level and I'm here to teach you guys in a much more simpler way. As our motto goes, we are here to make trading simple again. Now, first things first, this uh, strategy is going to work on the New York open kill zone. That's going to be 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. New York timing. Remember, New York timing. If you want to toggle your trading view to New York timing, just simply click time zone in the bottom right corner and change it to UTC minus 4 New York. So uh, New York open kill zone, 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. If you want to convert it to your local timing, you can do. Remember, this is New York timing because that is what ICT refers to. So it's just much easier me teaching it that way as well. Now, first things first, we're going to need a liquidity sweep then a market structure shift along with displacement and then a return to an order book where our entry is going to be taken. Obviously, I'll be sharing that in a little bit more detail in just a second. Now, this works perfect with gold, GPUSD and EURUSD. Um, I do think it does work with indices, but I don't trade indices myself. So there's no point in me teaching you and telling you guys that it works on that because I simply haven't tested it. Now, jumping into um, the actual demonstration right of this um, strategy so first things first what you're going to want to do is delineate your new york open kill zone now i can tell from just literally the naked eye so i don't need to do this but um simply just mark at 7 a.m till 10 a.m um, there we go so let me just jump on a lower time frame so I can see it better. All right, perfect. So 7 a.m. till 10 a.m. Now remember, make sure you follow all of this to a T. Um, stay disciplined. Don't bend the rules at all because then it won't work. So delineate that. Now, prior to your session, you are not looking to do anything, right? You're going to let price do exactly what it wants. Let me just change this to black. Uh, you're going to let price do whatever it likes. Um, whether it's going up, down, sideways, simply just let it do exactly what it wants. Now, when it comes to your session starting, what you need to mark out is your liquidity areas. Now, we do have a whole video on liquidity on our YouTube channel, broken down very, very, very simply. So you can go over and watch that. I'll break it down now for you. So simply, you can just use any significant highs and lows as liquidity or session highs and lows. Uh, for this sake, I'll just say any sort of significant highs and lows. So uh, let me just mark this out as liquidity and change this out as liquidity as well. Okay, done. So now that your liquidity areas are marked out, so you've got your buy side, you've got your sell side, right? When your session starts, um, you are simply just going to wait for one of these liquidity areas to be taken. Now, 
little bit of logic behind our strategy. So when our buy side liquidity gets taken, what's above buy side liquidity? Sell stops. What's below sell side liquidity? Buy stops. So when our buy side liquidity gets taken, we begin looking for sells. So now that we've had our liquidity sweep, um, you simply do this in the 15 minute, then you drop into the five minute. Um, and essentially what you are looking for here is a market structure shift. Okay, guys, so boom. Okay, we have this market structure shift. What we wanna do is just mark out this low once we successfully have that market structure shift done. Now, very important, alongside the market structure shift must be displacement. Okay, guys, it must be displacement. Now, what is displacement? Displacement is big body candles, uh, energetic candles breaking lows. We don't want little candles with long wicks. We want big energetic candles to be breaking lows. Okay, guys, so market structure shift along with displacement. Remember, keep that in mind. Now, once we've had that, we simply just mark out an order block. Nine times out of 10, there will be an order block um, with that displacement. Mark out that um, order block and then simply wait for uh, your return to that order block where you look to enter. So, for example, return here and then that is where our entry will be. And I'll turn this red just to show you guys. Like so, and that is how simple the strategy is very, very straightforward. And I'll be showing you guys a live example in just a second on uh, on the chart, just so you guys can really get the understanding. But that's how simple it is. Um, also, guys, we do have a free telegram where I share my payouts, um, trade ideas, new videos that are coming out, um, trades that we actually take, signals. Um, and whoever comes from YouTube will get an absolutely free HFT pass. So 100K, 200K prop firm account, we will pass for you completely free of charge if you come from YouTube just in celebration of my payouts and um, the consistency and how big we've actually grown so fast. So do join the free Telegram in the link below. I repeat, it's going to be in the link below. A lot of free value. I did just take a trip to Dubai, shared some um, business advice and stuff on the Telegram as well. So do join that. Now jumping straight back into the video, I'll be showing you guys a live example. And so I'll be showing you guys a live example. So First things first, I do use an indicator for my kill zone timing. So uh, this is London kill zone from 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. But then I also have my New York kill zone, like I told you guys, 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. If we want, if you guys want to use the same indicator, um, it is called KZ Boxes, ICT uh, KZ Boxes by David. Um, and this is my settings. If you guys want to copy them, literally, uh, there we go. So it's very clean, very neat. Now. Prior to our New York kill zone. So first we want to mark out our liquidity. Like I said, significant lows. Um, and then we can mark out a significant high as liquidity. Okay, guys. So that's so simple, so straightforward. You can see that with the naked eye. You're going to do this on the 15 minute time frame. Okay, guys. So now you simply wait for your session to begin. As you can see, the first candle with the New York open candle swept sell side liquidity. Now I'm gonna drop into the five minutes time frame. And what did I say? When sell side gets swept, we look for buys because under sell side liquidity, there is buy stops. Okay guys, so dropped into the five minute. Now all we are doing is seeking a market structure shift. So where is our nearest low, uh, low high? As you can see here's, here's a candle um, which has created the low, right? Or a matter of fact, if you don't wanna lose that one, uh, use that one, sorry. We can wait for a new high to be created and simply just wait for a market structure shift through there. As you can see, we had, if I just mark it out with a highlighter, where's my highlighter? One second, guys. We have this high. Why is this high? Because candle before and after it is below that swing point high. So we're going to mark that out. We're waiting for a market structure shift through here as you can see we had nice displacement through it body through the high creating a new high closing above as well again you don't want wick to be closing above you want body candle closes above now once we have that you want to mark out your order block so we've had our market structure shift amazing you want to mark out your order block perfect now what you want to wait for is a return into the order block bang return into the order book and now this is where you execute you can either manually execute 
or you guys can be watching the charts uh, I'm sorry set a buy stop um, at your order block area now stops you can be conservative and have it below this swing point low or personally have it at um, the actual low of the day um, which it is turning around from this is going to be the much safer option and then simply just target opposing liquidity for a one to three as you can see TP gets hit see how close we come to stops this is why you need to understand where to have your stop losses um, having it just at this low I know that this low was not going to get swept if this low had been swept I would have been invalidated from the trade it would have potentially carried on drowning so that is exactly why I would have stops there um, as you can see did not get tapped out and then straight to TP for a one to three risk to reward ratio. And this is how simple the strategy is. Very, very clean, very, very straightforward. Um, other, than, other than that, you can see, look, you could just see price continuing up. So if you guys enjoyed this video, if it was helpful, uh, this is exactly the way I trade. This is exactly what I teach in our free Telegram. Remember, whoever comes to our channel, uh, our Telegram channel through YouTube, simply message um our at which is zedman admin um that you have come from youtube and we'll pass 100k 200k prop from for you for absolutely free okay guys we share trade updates payouts new videos coming out so much free value within this telegram um so do join that in the link below hope you guys enjoyed this video